Well, hey, 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 what's going on everyone? And so, welcome. This afternoon, guys, I've got a small tutorial for all of you who own a Nintendo Switch and who are running custom firmware on your Switch. Um, so, I'll be going over on how you can uh, customize your homebrew channel, guys. Uh, to bleh. Not homebrew channel, sorry, that's on the Wii. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. The homebrew menu. And I actually need to do another tutorial on the Wii, actually. But anyway, Today is going to be on the Switch. I'll be going over the homebrew menu and how to customize it. Um, it's as simple as uh, copying a couple files over, guys. It's not that hard, really. Um, let me show you what uh, homebrew menu I have, what version I have. Okay. So as you can see, guys, I'm running the homebrew menu version 2.0. Uh, so we're going to bump this up to a version 3, guys, along with some files uh, on our SD card. And we're going to be able to customize this a little bit with a little bit of color. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Let me back out of this. And so, yeah, let's go on over to the computer, guys. And I'll show you the, the files that you're going to need and how to uh, get all this up and going. All right? Okay, let's do this. Okay, guys. Uh, so... This is the file that you're going to be downloading right here, guys. Uh, so let me show you exactly where you're going to download that file from. Let's head on over to our web browser. And here's a MediaFire site, guys. This is my personal upload. It's only 672 kilobytes in size. Not very big whatsoever. And um, I just want to thank uh, Skulator. Uh, he's the one that show, showed everyone how to do this. Uh, this is his channel, guys. Uh, go subscribe to him. He's got a lot of... Uh, Good um, hacking uh, videos here. Uh, very, very useful. So, uh, if you want to check him out, guys, uh, subscribe to him or whatever. He's a, a really cool guy. And I, I just wanted to thank you guys. Uh, I finally hit 3,000 subscribers. I know that's not very much, but hey, you know, uh, <laughs> I feel good about it. But yeah, thank you for all your support or whatever. <laughs> who's ever subscribed to me guys and uh, I appreciate it, I really do. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back to this file here and we'll extract this bad boy. And it's gonna pop up over here. Here we go, right here. Um, let's open it up. And we got a couple of goodies here. Uh, now I'm gonna open up my SD card to my Switch right here uh, so all, all you're gonna do guys uh, I've already got a homebrew menu in our O file right here uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna simply copy this over and replace that one right there that's all you're gonna do replace that file there and up here guys you're gonna have a copy to SD root what you're gonna do is take the contents of this that folder which is right here and you just simply go and copy this guys and you're going to um, extract it well try to copy it over to the root of your SD card here all right and that, as simple as that guys I mean that's absolutely it um, let me see if there was anything else no, because it, it nothing goes in your atmosphere, atmosphere folder, SXOS folder, nothing like that. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Let's uh, slam this card back in the, uh, our Switch, guys, and let's head on over there and uh, check it out. All right. Okay, guys. So, let's just jump right into this, and uh, I'm going to scroll on down to my album. Uh, I'm going to hold my right shoulder button and hit A to go to my homebrew menu. And so as you can see guys, I'm running the homebrew menu version 3 now. And as you can also can see, um, down there at the very bottom, uh, I got a few more options. Um, so if I go down here and hit the minus button, this will pull up a bunch of uh, different themes. Um, you have your black theme here guys if you hit the a button you uh you, you can apply it uh the blue you have brown that's actually my favorite one right there it's pretty cool uh dark purple uh deep pink gray the green pink 
purple, silver, sky blue, switch black, switch white, uh, Wii HBC theme, pretty cool, uh, yellow, and you have yellow green. So, it's, it's not nothing really spectacular, guys, but at least we can now do something to the homebrew menu. Um, I'm going to go back to my favorite one, which is the brown, or that right there. And I'm going to apply that one. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, pretty cool, guys. Hopefully the next time uh, we can actually do some other uh, customizations to it. Uh, I actually don't use the homebrew menu whatsoever, guys. Uh, I used to until they added the homebrew uh, on the SXOS. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so if I go back out of this. Let, let me go back into it and see if it saved it or not. Yeah, so, yeah, it saved it. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, so let me go down here to album. I'm going to hit the A button to go into the SX, SXOS. And I'm going to scroll on over to the uh, home homebrew uh, option. And this, this is what I use. I mean, it's very easy to get to. Uh, no big deal, guys. Um, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I use. And there's retro art, whatever. Okay, so, well, uh, I hope this helped you guys out. I try to make this tutorial as short as possible, guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope uh, to see y'all next time on, the, on another video. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play. Uh, I'm actually planning to later. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play Chasm again. And I like to play this one right here. Uh, this is like a first look. Guys, I have not even touched this game yet. I've seen it on YouTube. So I'm going to be definitely checking that out. Um, but yeah, until then, guys, uh, y'all have a good one. And uh, never stop gaming, guys. And I'll see y'all guys later. All right? Thanks for watching. All right.